is what we're going to look at right now are the built-in functions for dealing with polynomials in MATLAB. Okay. And let's just first note how we would input, you know, say the polynomial x squared minus 5x plus 6 um, into MATLAB. Well, let's give it a name first of all. So how about P1 for our first polynomial? And then we'll actually make a vector that just contains the le or the the coefficients in front of you know x squared x six and it's going to go from the highest power down to the lowest so we want to do one there for the x squared minus five for the x and then six for the constant term okay. and then next we uh, i picked one that we could easily factor so that we can see that this is actually working correctly but we could have a really complicated polynomial here and using the roots function, it will find us those roots. So now we don't really need to factor. Um, and if we have something, you know, that's of a higher degree than two, so say a cubic or uh, something that contains a fourth or fifth or sixth power, um, we don't have to rely on factoring. Okay. So here we go. Roots of P1. Right? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit run. And we should see the, the roots down there, but they should be 2 and 3. Okay. Here we go. And then you can see our two roots. We have 2 and 3. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm going to suppress this because we'll look at a different one now. Now you might be wondering, well, what if it's a polynomial that has some complex roots or maybe all complex roots? Um, this will still work. So let's try P2. And that's why I chose this polynomial here. Um, is If we wanted to, again, find the roots, this is one where the roots actually happen to be complex. Okay. So again, 1 for the x squared, 2 for the x term, and then 50 for the constant term. And we'll do roots and P2. And everything's suppressed except for the roots, so we should see here in a moment two complex roots. Okay. And yeah, you can see those down at the bottom. Okay. Now, something else that's built in is there is a function that will evaluate a polynomial at a point. Okay. So, for instance, I actually know that these two things down here, minus 1 plus 7i and minus 1 minus 7i, or to plug those into P2, it should result with zero because they are roots. And so let's actually test that out. We'll say polyval um, P2, okay, so the polynomial. Okay. And then next I'd want to input one of these roots. So how about minus one plus seven times I? Okay, and I'm gonna suppress the roots up here that way. The only thing that outputs here should be zero okay all right so it evaluated it properly good okay. all right another built-in function involving polynomials is poly so if you actually have a bunch of roots and you'd like to create the polynomial that corresponds to it okay which uh, again maybe you have something that is factored let me give you an example Say we started off with something that was factored. Um, so say like x minus 2, um, x plus 3, um, 7, or, or uh, we'll, we'll put in one more thing. x minus 6, and how about actually one more? Um, and x minus uh, 9. Okay. So we already have it, say, factored, but let's say that we actually wanted to distribute. We wanted the again, the fourth degree polynomial um, that has these roots, two, negative three, six, nine. Well, that's where this poly function can come into play. Okay. But yeah, it's gonna give us a polynomial, so why don't we call this polynomial P3, okay? Of course, it's gonna give it to us as a vector, but that's okay. So P3 is gonna be equal to poly and let's see here poly 
And the roots here, we're going to also put in that vector format. We have 2, we have negative 3, we have 6, and we have 9. Okay. And I can go ahead and we can run this, and is what we should see is the polynomial that would result from actually multiplying all those things together. Okay. okay. And uh, again, this would be x to the fourth minus 14x cubed plus 33x squared um, plus 144x minus 324. That would be the polynomial that we'd end up with there. Okay. And so that was a quick way to, to really do that multiplication. Okay. Well, let's say, you know, maybe we're solving some, uh, let's see what that would be. Let's say we were going to solve some fourth order um, homogeneous linear differential equation, and it came down to actually finding the roots of this polynomial down here. Um, and in order to do that, right, we could actually use the roots function. Um, but let's say that, again, you were trying to um, maybe do a little bit of long division to find these roots. Well, we can do that. Okay. We can do that. We could uh, use this deconv function here to perform polynomial long division. Okay. And let's see what that might look like. So we'd have um, we can type in the quotient and you don't have to use Q and remainder R and again you don't have to use R. And we'll have deconv and let's say, again, we wanted to, say, take this polynomial that we just created, and we were kind of trying to work backward and maybe do a little bit of factoring. And so we decided to do some long division to help with that. Well, we maybe it would have noticed, um, based on what the polynomial P3 looks like, oh, there's a root at 2. Okay. Well, a polynomial that has a root at 2 would be, um, x minus 2. So if I divide it by this, then we should end up uh, getting a remainder of 0, but we should also find out x minus 2 times what would give us this polynomial P3. Okay. And this is something you also probably did every now and then when you're in Calc 2, right? doing that long division um, for uh, the section where you probably covered partial fractions. Okay, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and run this. Okay. You can see remainder 0, which is good, because we, kn we knew that x minus 2 should divide it evenly. But is what this would tell us is that x minus 2 times x cubed minus 12x squared plus 9x plus 162 would result in the polynomial P3. And uh, that, that's all these built-in uh, polynomial functions that we'll look at for now. This is just kind of a, a side note here in Chapter 6. But we will come back and use these things a little more later on.